Dr. Jaffe, why is knowing one's pH so important? Well, uh, biology, life exists in a very narrow range of what we call pH values. These are logarithmic values. They are important out to three decimal places. But most of the time, people are mismeasuring or not understanding what they're measuring, and it matters. What's the easiest thing to measure? Urine, pH, after rest. That's the one time during the day when you get a meaningful value in the urine for the pH. You need six hours of rest. You can go to the bathroom. You just can't go to the gym or the kitchen. So if you have six or more hours of rest, then you can measure the urine pH and determine how much magnesium and choline citrate you need, two, three, four, five doses a day to overcome the amount of net ex excess acid you have. Most people, most, over 80% of people, have too much acid. If the acid builds up in your body, you will die. When I was an intern, someone came in in diabetic ketoacidosis with an arterial pH of 6.9, and they lived. I was a hero for saving that patient. So small changes in pH matter a lot. Most of the time, what we're talking about is urinary pH. That's the accessible fluid that you can measure. I will mention that most of the time, salivary pH is misleading. If you use a curvy cup, which allows you to collect pure parotid saliva, that's fine, but cumbersome. In Carl Franzbau's lab, we had a dentist named Frank Oppenheimer who had us all wearing curvy cups and collecting parotid saliva. Most of what you get as saliva is spit. That contains serosanguinous fluid because most people's mouths, gingiva, are leaking. So saliva pH is misleading. Urine pH is instructive in the way that I just described. What the kidney does remarkably is to concentrate the excess acid that the body needs to get rid of. This is why the healthy pH range is 6.5 to 7.5. Below 7 means a little excess of acid. If the kidneys can concentrate that acid and get rid of it, that helps the body. So we could talk about the importance of stomach acid and the stomach being very acidic, which means very low in pH. Then we could talk about the intestine and how the stimulation from the stomach stimulates the pancreas and the gallbladder to release bicarbonate, digestive enzymes, emulsifying factors that help the fat-soluble vitamins get in. So pH is very important, but the most important aspect clinically is urinary daily measurement of pH. Keep a little log and make a little note. I predict you will feel better when your pH is in the healthy zone, for each half pH unit below 6.5, you need an extra dose of magnesium with choline citrate. The choline citrate uniquely and distinctively enhances, maybe triples, the uptake of magnesium. So to get the magnesium in and correct the choline and the citrate deficiencies that we have is an opportunity based on urine pH.